in today's video I will test out a spinning reel which is called Sinoid Windrunner 3X. I have a 5000 size here and I will be targeting big bubble in very fast water using super heavy gear. Damn it, that fish took by surprise me. Float went thunder like slowly. I was thinking it will be. That fish is digging through the snags. Oh no. This is how you do it. Uh, see what I'm doing? I'm extending my rod just to make it longer. That fish is not giving up, like not moving at all. It's not in the snag yet. Whew. It's getting ridiculous, guys. Just moved it a little bit into the open water by doing this crazy fight. Just to make sure that my uh, clutch on the reel is set. Just bang on if it will run downstream so it would not break me. It's coming like super slow. It's not moving like it's the bigger fish, not sure. It will be, yeah, it's heavier. It will be bigger than those two before. Just let's see, you know. It's like, you know, like sea fishing. <laughs> Actually, it works, guys. Interesting, yeah, it works. Fish are coming much easier. That's, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, but the clutch or drag brake, whatever you call it, it works beautifully on this reel. Nice and smooth. Sound is also like, sounds like much more uh, expensive reel. It has a carbon uh, washers actually. So for that price. <laughs> Here is my float. I mean, you can't blame me telling that I'm not testing tackle properly. Right. I hope you can see the float. Now let's see if that fish will try to do me in the bush to my uh, right or to the left. Yeah, a little bit bigger fish. In the bag! Whew. And here it is, guys. It will jump into the water in a sec. About, I don't know, four kilos, something like that. Eight, nine pounds, not sure. So yeah. Whew. Thank you. And yeah, as always, we'll keep him uh, in the flow for a little bit. As you can see, it's kicking properly. It's not been out of the water more than 10 seconds. And yeah, this is how you handle them. My net is still breaking down. But let's see if that bubble will go out of the net. Finally. So yeah. A little bit messy, but we got a decent fish out result. So again, about the reel, can't, can't fault it again. One thing I can't answer at the moment to you guys, whether it will last, you know. What did I hook some, some sticks there? Yeah, so again, I'm pulling back a little bit of weight against the flow. That reel does not feel like it's choking like at all. 
again, it's not designed for heavy feeder work, I can tell you that, but for light feeder work, like up to probably 30 grams casting, maybe a little bit more, and like float, heavy float work, it will be just perfect. As I see, I have 5,000 size. And yeah, I did not feel that, you know, feel, uh, that reel has not enough guts inside, you know, to to pull those bubble out. So yeah, for that money, you can't go wrong, guys. You can't go wrong. Will it last as Dive or Shimano lasts, you know, like years and years if you service it and stuff? Not sure, but still, think it will last at least half of that, at least. And to begin with, it's a, like, you know, it's a great real decent size, real big spool but very light reel, like 250 to 260 grams for like decent size reel, you know. To get something comparable from, if you can actually, not sure, but let's say if, if you would get something that size, you would pay a lot, guys. I can promise you that from Daiwa or Shimano. Just a bite, not sure. So far, I can't recommend this reel after using for bubble. Uh, then I used it on feeder, for feeder work. Was casting up to 50 grams actually weights, uh, even though it's a little bit too much in my opinion for this reel, but I was feeling actually comfortable, even though they were smallish, like browning window feeders, 50 grams, but to drag them against the flow, I did not, you know, feel that the reel will give up, you know. So, all in all, you just can't go wrong, guys, with for that money. Little bite again. There are some small chub. I mean, I'm fishing way too heavy for chub, but they are trying, you know, trying to see if they can steal my, my bait. And that's a bubble. Go into the flow, Mr. Bubble. Still have clean contact with the fish, just it's a big fish. I have to, I mean, maybe not that big of a fish, just, uh, you know, bubble. <laughs> they are mad fish. As you can see, just to make sure that I'm, uh, that I am applying more pressure, I'm using my rod just like that, so I would have a good leverage. Is that it? That fish is giving up? No, it can't be it. I hope you can see my float. Just wo uh, just wobbling into float, this fish. What is happening here? That fish is digging under the bush. Whoo! Don't think that I will get this one out. Can't believe this fish managed to get where I was, you know, did, did not kind of hoping it will get to. And that's it. Snagged me, damn it. OK, 
okay, I will leave my line just lack a little bit, maybe, you know, it will come out. That was the craziest fight. Did not do anything pretty much whilst in the flow and then whoosh, went under me. <sighs> that was lucky. Just pulled with a uh, with a hand and that fish. This is so messy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Crazy fishing. <laughs> uh, Not a big fish either. They are strong, they are strong, those fish. Yes! <laughs> that was crazy, you have to admit. Whew. Not a big fish like at all. <laughs> okay, I will try to show you that fish maybe. And here it is, that fish, guys. I don't know, five pounds maybe. Okay, time to go back for you. Obviously, uh, as a fish fought very strange, you know, before putting it like back into the flow, I, I will keep him in the net for a while. But again, it was out maybe 10 seconds out of the water. So see, it's kicking. It's kicking well. So it's a very, very good sign that bubble is ready to go. And then all I will do, let him go. Right, that last hook bait is going on, and we'll chuck it out. And whilst my rig is settling, I will say this, guys, it will be my last cast or until I will consume this hook bait. But yeah, if you are interested in this budget reel from C Night, it's called Windrunner 3. Uh, check those links in the description below. In my opinion, for this budget price, that's a really great reel. It's light, it performs and so on. Come on, you fish. In any case, I think I will call it. So don't think that I will get another bite, so I won't waste your time, guys. Hope you'll find this video useful and again check those links if you are interested in this budget reel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.